Hi guys, I am really, really, really sorry that I haven't made a video in so many weeks. It's been crazy here, as I'm sure it is for you guys right now as well. Um, and I just, I honestly keep forgetting. Um, and I'm always busy at night, and I keep forgetting that I need to record a video. Because also, like, part of me really wants to make, like, a clever or edited video, at least, um, and say something really cool, and I just never have time to do it, so I end up not doing anything, which is a stupid reason, I know, but... Oh well. Um, what's going on right now? We have finals um, that are going to be starting on Monday, but it feels like they've started already, particularly because I have a seven-page essay that's due Friday that I am about to start, and I really don't want to start it, honestly. I don't know when I got so proactive. I used to write, like, ten-page essays the day they were due. Like, I have this famous story, famous to me, I guess, famous among my friends, that I once wrote a 10-page essay, wrote 10 pages, and then edited it down to five um, the morning it was due, when it was due at 9.30. So clearly, you know, I'm used to working on a crunch time. Um, but lately, the last two papers I've written, I wrote well before the due date, you know. I wrote, I started two or three days before they were due and finished it with plenty of time and not a ton of stress. And I feel like I'm just losing a part of myself, you know. I'm very disappointed. So this is the book that I have to write my essay on. It's called The God of Small Things um, by Arundhati Roy. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Uh, it's quite good, actually. Um, it's you know, a little bit of a literary novel to a certain extent, but it actually tells a very interesting and quite powerful story. Um, and it's very, very focused on details, you know, it's called The God of Small Things. Of course, it's going to be focused on details. Um, but I like, I like detail-oriented books, so I appreciated that. Um, granted, I did kind of rush through the last 200 pages or so because I knew I had to write this essay, and yesterday I was still only about 10 chapters into the book, so I spent pretty much all of today just kind of reading it really, really quickly and trying to get through it. But yeah, um, let me see what else can I talk about. Um, I went to a tournament this past weekend. I placed 22nd out of 45, so not great, not terrible. Um, apart from that, we have a Secret Santa party on Friday uh, that I'm excited for. Uh, actually, Friday's going to be a really good day because um, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but um, Nick and I are going to go downtown for a hot date. Um, and this is funny because um, Nick is my friend, but mostly Corey's friend. Um, and, you know, he and Corey are pretty close. They spend a lot of time together. Um, and, you know, so it's a constant battle of third wheeling. You know, am I third wheeling them or are they third wheeling? Is he th is Nick third wheeling me and Corey? Um, and so Nick and I have come to the conclusion that we are going to make, uh, you know, we're either going to make Corey jealous or um, basically we're going to have, uh, we're going to go hang out downtown without him. Uh, you know, and he keeps trying to, to butt into the date and be like, but I want to come. And we're like, no, you can't come. We want to hang out alone. Because um, he's, you know, very, very, very much into reading. Um, he's really cool, actually. You both really like him. So uh, we keep talking about how we want to go downtown to the pedestrian mall and wander around and particularly go into all the independent bookstores because it sounds like a really fun time to us. So uh, we're going to do that Friday before fencing practice and before the Secret Santa party. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to go see Spring Awakening this weekend. I have a bunch of friends in it, so I'm also looking forward to that. Actually, Johnny Landers. You remember Johnny Landers? He is in it. I don't know who, he, who he's playing. I do know he gets to make out with uh, one of my friends from The Music Man. So that's interesting. Um what else can I talk about? Oh, I'm going to go see The Hobbit in another week or two. I'm really excited about that. Um, so, yeah. I love you both. I'm really, really sorry that I've been so bad. I promise nothing is wrong. I promise. Actually, life is really fantastic right now. So fantastic, I can't stop to tell you about it, clearly. Okay, my roommate is giving me looks right now. Life is not fantastic because I have to write a seven-page paper. It's very not fantastic in terms of that. But in terms of, like, relationships and emotions and, like... And crocodile suits, I, you know, I met my roommate on the street today, and she was dressed full out in a crocodile onesie, so 
<laughs> that was pretty fantastic. But anyway, I love you both. I'm sorry. And I hope that your lives are as great as mine right now. Bye.